Hello, and welcome to Art with Miss Michelle. Today I'm going to show you how to make some fingerprint insects. This project is very fun and cute, and I think you'll like it. So, for this project, you're going to need some paper. You might want a couple of pieces if you want to try to make a bunch of different types of insects. You're going to need either some ink pads, or if you don't have ink pads, you can use some paint. Um, or even if you just have one color ink pad and you want more color choices, you can use ink pads and paint. And then if you want to make some leaf rubbings for your insects to go on, you'll need some leaves with some good veins on the back and a crayon with the paper peeled off of it. And you'll also need a regular pencil or some colored pencils to add the legs and faces and antennas to your insects. So I'm just going to use my fingerprint and I'm going to make some different insects. So I just want to press my finger onto the ink and then I can make a print on my paper. And then I can use my colored pencil to decorate it. So I'm going to start off by making a ladybug. So I have my fingerprint, I'm just going to add the head and some little antennas. And then insects always have six legs, so I can give her three on this side and three on this side. And then I'll just make a line down the middle to make the wings. And then I can make some little spots. And then if I want to make a different colored insect, I'll just switch ink pads, and I might want to use a different finger unless I go wash this one. So for this one, I'm going to make an ant. So I'm going to give them three sections. And then I'll make the antennas. And this one's a little bit dark, but I could try to draw a little face in there. And then I can give him his legs. And then I could make, let's see, I think I'll switch to green. So I can make a cool beetle. And you can make insects that are real, or you can create your own insects, or you can do a little combination of both. Um, if I want to make something for my insects to be sitting on, I'm going to make a leaf rubbing. So I'm actually going to rip a little piece of this off so I can make an insect that looks like it's eating the leaf and like it took a bite out of it where I ripped it. So I'm going to use the back of my leaf. So see the front, you can see the lines, but they don't stick up very much. The back, I can actually see them sticking up. So I'm going to put the back side up under my paper. And I'm going to use my crayon. I want to use the side of my crayon. So I've already peeled the paper off. And I'm going to pinch it in between my fingers. And I want to hold it really hard so it won't roll around. And then I'm going to use my other hand to hold down my paper. And I'm going to go over the leaf with my crayon. And when I do this, I should be able to see the edges of my leaf. So if you just have the middle, keep going until you get to the edge. And then once you have your whole leaf, you can stop. And then I'm going to use two colors. I'm going to make a caterpillar with a red head and a green body. So I'm going to use a red fingerprint for the head. Then I'm going to switch to my green. And I can even kind of make him like he's bending his body. And 
make it look like you do here at least. So be creative. You can make like a whole army of ants marching. Down here, you can make all your insects together. If you want to do them on different papers, you can make like a bunch of ladybugs together and start a new paper for some caterpillars. You could even make a butterfly. So for this one, I would just make the body with my fingerprints and then I could add the wings and you could decorate the wings however you want. So you could draw the wings and you could even add more fingerprints for the designs in their wings. It's entirely up to you how you want to make your insects. But this project is very creative. You can even, if you get tired of making insects but you still want to do this, you can start making different kinds of animals too. That's always fun. So yeah, just be really creative and see how many different kinds of insects you could get. If you need some inspiration, maybe you could look outside and see if you could find some different types of insects. And then you could use your ideas to make your fingerprint insects. So I hope you like this project and I hope you get really creative with it. Um, one thing I didn't mention, if you're using paint, I would get something to put your paint on, like a paper plate or a palette. And you could take a brush and brush your paint out really thin so you don't have a lot of paint and then dip your finger in it. Um, if you use paint, you might not get as good of a print for your fingerprints, but it's still really fun to do this project. Um, so yeah, I hope you like my video and happy insect making.